Scott's massive three points today. I mean, you could see what it meant to absolutely everyone at the end. Just sum that one up. Yeah, it's absolutely huge. I think, look, we were so disappointed last week against Palace. I think... Look, you see what Jonathan's trying to do with us in, in terms of the things he's implemented. I think we did that well last week and maybe got ahead of ourselves because realistically it's only been a couple of weeks since he's been in. Um, so obviously every t training session he's trying to drip feed different bits into us and yeah, today it came together. How big was it as well to come from behind because it could have been easy for heads to drop again after that early setback but played some great football after that and, and got the deserved goal just before half time and, and built on that yeah it's huge I think we were disappointed to go behind don't think we deserved it I think we were a team that was on top but you know that's football sometimes that happens so the fact that yeah we've had the resilience the determination to to come not just from behind and, and settle for a point they actually to go on win it and then obviously the sort of determination to, to see it out in the end as well was massive for us I mean Jonathan said last week there was a lot of building blocks to take out of the Palace game even though obviously everyone was disappointed there was a lot of chances yourself a few other the girls had, had big chances last week but today in front of goal there was some uh, great composure from yourself and, and from Mia in the second half and, and it's reward for hard work isn't it? Yeah I mean it's clinical and I think you know one of the things throughout the season is we weren't creating enough chances and we did that against Palace but I think obviously as a forward line we're, we're not as used to that that much so as you say for me I reflected should have done better out of the, the couple of chances I had I, I should have scored and, and other people should have we've hit the bar and we've hit the post so that was disappointing but you know, for me personally the, you know, the extra one-to-one -one sessions with, with Jonathan has been fantastic been doing some shooting um, and again, like little bits and bobs will be implemented. So it's always nice when the stuff that you're doing, obviously on the training pitch and, and then transfers to game. How notable is that for you now, that extra little bit of attacking intent that we are starting to play with? You know, last week we had the most shots we've had apart from the Coventry game at home and, and probably today would, would rank quite high as well. We are getting into a lot more attacking positions. Yeah, like I say, it's massive, I think, because, you know, earlier in the season when we're only maybe creating one or two chances, I think there's a, a, a lot of pressure on that. Um, so the fact that we are creating more and, and you've got more opportunities to put the ball in the back of the net, I just think it takes it, it um, offers forwards a little bit as well. And it's the same for the defence. They know if we're creating more chances, scoring more goals. And obviously at the other end, they know if they sort of keep it, you know, low score line today it was one or a clean sheet, then it's going to give us a massive opportunity to win the game. Yeah, and final one, Gaffer's just said the same thing. But in terms of next week, down to business again, same job and, and take this momentum into that game. Yeah, massive. Like I said, I think we, we played really well at Palace and it's... Um, you know, it's hard sometimes to, to put it into perspective, um, like I say, because you want to win the game. But we built so many building blocks. We, we've pushed on again this week, got the win. And obviously back at home, back at the lane, uh, a place that we all love playing, we, we want the three points again.